And hello, Facebook Live, and to everybody who's tuned in via the Rappler Facebook page. My name is Justin Quirino, and today we're talking about something unbelievably timely, and this is definitely something you want to hear. In case you're just tuning in now, we're talking about ride-sharing apps such as Uber and their effect on the Philippines and our lives uh, before we had Uber and how it is today. If it does go away, how's that going to affect us? And what's going to happen come July 26, right? Now, when ride-sharing apps such as Uber arrived in the Philippines, we were all very, very grateful to finally have safer and a more convenient way of commuting around Metro Manila. Uh, but over the weekend, with reports that the LTFRB would resume apprehending transport network vehicle services such as Uber, netizens naturally reacted. Mostly millennials, but of course, netizens reacted, saying that they can't imagine life without Uber anymore. Uh, and I'm sure many of you can relate today, and that's why we're having this discussion today as well. Recently, Rappler launched the hashtag before Uber microsite to crowdsource stories of how Filipinos have benefited from services like Uber. Uh, once again, good afternoon. My name is Justin Quirino, and today, this is what we're talking about. And I'm here also with other Uber users uh, who have much to say about this topic, of course. And we're going to be reading out some of our favorite tweets and some of our favorite responses to the hashtag uh, before Uber movement, right? Microsite. So today we have, of course, with us Miss uh, Isabel Oli Prats. Hi. 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 She's an Uber rider and a brand ambassador. And we have uh, Mr. Zach Yonzon. Hi, Zach. Nice to have you with us. He's an Uber rider and owner, and also uh, the owner of the Bunny Baker, correct? Yeah. Yes. Congratulations on, on your new on your new site, on your new uh, sites in Makati. Uh, we also have with us Kuya Edgardo Rovilios. At your service, sir. At your service. Hi. Good afternoon, Paul. Yes, it's very nice to have you. Uh, our Uber partner and driver. And we also have the co-founder of Sakai.ph, Mr. Philip Chang. Hi. Nice to have you, Philip. Um, very, very excited to hear everything about uh, Sakai.ph, okay? So, let's begin. We're going to start with uh, the reactions to the news first, okay? So, again, what's happening, July 26, LTFRB supposedly is going to start apprehending um, transport network vehicle services like Uber. So, we're just going to ask you guys, how is this going to affect your lives come July 26? So, uno una sabihin natin, Kuya Edgardo. Pagdating ng July 26, magbago ba ang buhay niyo? Uh, siguro, uh, dodobi lang yung, yung biyahe namin kasi makukulangan na kami. Magbabawasan ah, kami. Kailangan, okay. ng, kailangan namin ng, ano, eh, ng grupo na para... Ang dami kasing commuters eh. Mga hmm. namuawala ng ano. Okay. Dati nun, siguro mga 8 out of 10. Ngayon, hmm. baka 2 out of 10 na ang mangyayari. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung kita niyo come July 26? Hindi naman kita. <laughs> hindi naman sa'yo kasi kita lang eh. Ba yung serbisyo ba? Ah. Uh, namin ibigay sa, no, sa mga mananakay namin. By the way, guys, for those of you who don't know Kuya Edgardo, he's one of the top Uber drivers and most sought-after Uber drivers that we have. Maraming salamat po. Isabel? Um, I think it would be a big change. Um, kasi I, I used to commute. Kasi um, when I had the... But when I was a model before, uh, I used to commute tricycle, tas jeep, tas MRT. Ganun yung routine ko, mm. going to Makati. Mm -hmm. So, um, nung ngayon na, nung meron na akong, ano, may Uber na, it's mm. parang, it's faster, you know? It's mm. just one click away. Mm. So, kung mawawala na naman, babalik na naman sa ganun. Mm. If I don't have a car or wala yung driver ko, it mm. will be like that. Mm. I think safety in Nepal. The diba? safety, yeah. Pista. Be like, Means, you'll never get anywhere because they're going to take selfies with you everywhere you go, right? Yes, especially <laughs> MRT. Diba? So, we'll have pictures. Sila sa, diba? Yeah. Minsan, ang sikip -sikip pa. That's right, that's right. Okay, thank you, Isabel. Zach. Uh, honestly, I don't know mm. what's going to happen. You know, hopefully, it doesn't happen. Mm. It's just that you, it just reduces the options that we've got for, for vehicular transport. Mm. Um, I use it. I, I drive. Um, I don't use it much myself, although I, I used an Uber to get here because it was coding today. Yeah. But I use it for my kids. Mm. Like uh, when they need to be fetched from school, if they need to be brought to their tutor, they need to, or sometimes when I have to have a cake delivered or stuff picked up. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to change. It just, it really reduces your options, um, you know, as a commuter for, for doing business, everything. So I don't know how it's going to affect me mm. um, personally. I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll impact a lot of people. Mm. It'll suck. Mm. So, you know, let's hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, definitely. 
Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Philip. Right, so um, I mean, if Uber and other ride-sharing apps were forced to wind down, I think it would be really difficult for everyone. Um, as Zach said, it's a really important option, I think. A lot of people, like friends, family, and coworkers I know, um, rely on Uber and other ride-sharing apps to get around. Mm -hmm. um, surely there are other options, but it does make things more difficult, and especially in Metro Manila where everything's so congested. Um, Uber is a really important alternative that a lot of people can use. Um, in our app, um, our app is sakai.ph. It gives commuter, um, people information how to commute, how to get their different modes. Um, we actually have Uber as one of the options. And mm. I don't know exactly how much off the top of my head choose Uber ultimately, but I can say it's a very palpable and measurable amount. So even when people go to check alternatives, a lot of them do choose Uber. So mm. it's going to be really difficult without that option. That's right, yeah, for your site as well, no? Okay, so we asked the netizens as well what they thought about this. What was life like, hashtag, before Uber, right? So let's see here. Uh, we're going to check out the benefits of Uber and uh, specifically its convenience right now. Let's load up some tweets over here. Um, from Miss Luan Delima 7 hashtag, before Uber, I needed to be crazy stressed just trying to find a ride in time. With Uber, less than five minutes, I have a car to pick me up. Just like what uh, Isabel was saying earlier on, <laughs> yeah. Um, from Dampier Jane, hashtag before Uber, I had to research how to get to a place for the first time and expect getting lost. Now I can relax and wait for my drop off. Very convenient. Oh, and we have a tweet from you as well. It's at Isabel Oli Pratt, if you haven't already followed her on Twitter. Hashtag before Uber, no coding and parking are a few reasons why I sometimes just want to stay at home. With Uber, I can go out with just one click. Okay, um, let's see here. Before Uber, Addy De La Cruz, hashtag before Uber. I had to text friends the cab plate number. This is a very, a very, very, uh, this is a recurring thing, no? Uh, text friends the cab plate number because it wasn't always safe. And there's no way to track them after each ride. Next, we have one from, okay. We have one from Miss uh, Anna Carrill. Oh, Carrill. I actually left my phone in my Uber yesterday, and next thing I know, the driver went back to ABS to give my phone. Thanks, Uber. Hashtag before Uber. Um, next, hashtag, okay, uh, at RJR Aquino Jr. I can sleep during my travel to and from work. Hindi tulad sa taxi, takot ka matulog. Hashtag before Uber. Thoughts, guys, on what we just read? One of the things that you wanted to point out was that um, that cell phone, Kirill mm -hmm. losing her cell phone. Yeah, there are Uber, there are taxi drivers who will return that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it's not an Uber thing. However, mm -hmm. it's it's really important to point out that the security, your peace of mind, is very different with Uber mm -hmm. because there's a sort of accountability because you have the, the driver's name, you have a record of uh, your your route, you have a record of the plate number, and all of this uh, plays into you know, especially now you you have. For example, I, I, I trust my children mm -hmm. to Uber drivers, not just, just, not just my children. I have, um, I have a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a four-year-old. And I trust them with their yaya to, in an Uber. <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of peace of mind with uh, a taxi. Yeah. Um, not for any other reason than we, there are just really bad experiences with taxi drivers, right? Mm -hmm. um, this isn't to say that bad experiences can't happen with Uber, yeah. but you have accountability. You know, you have a check and balance. You have an app that tells you, this is that person, you got picked up here. You got, it's just mm. so much peace of mind. Yeah. And, you know, I really don't understand what the people running this country are doing. They can't see that. It's mm. very, very basic, mm. you know. Yeah. And you can even see their route and see how far yes, away they very, are. Oh, you, well, can see, uh, you can see where they're going. Mm. You can see where they're going. You can see an estimated time, mm. yeah. right? Because they, they do work together with Waze. Um, one of the things I used to do, and I could never do this with, with a taxi, sub, um, uh, at the Bunny Baker Cafe, the cafe that which I own, I would order food. Like, I'm at home, mm -hmm. and I would want food, and I don't have food at home. I would order from the, from, from the house. I would tell them to cook it, and I would have an Uber pick it up. Mm -hmm. So an Uber would just be transporting food. Okay, mm -hmm. I can't imagine having a taxi do that. Mm. Right? It's, you don't do that. Um, and the same thing with cake deliveries, for example. I can have an Uber deliver a cake. Mm -hmm. And that's just, it's, I can't have, a, I can't trust a taxi driver to do that. Yeah. Not, 
not for anything other than there is no accountability. Yeah. Other than yeah. there is no, no, there's no tracking. Yeah. Right? I can't give a taxi driver, okay, here's the cake, deliver it to this address, and, and, and it's gone. Hmm. Right? I can't do that. As a business owner, I need to have um, a check and balance for me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Zach. So again, on convenience, any thoughts, guys? Um, I think the fact, uh, sorry, um, the fact that it's um, online and it's self-documenting gives, um, as Zach mentioned, a lot of safety, a lot of peace of mind. Mm -hmm. one, uh, one thing that struck me as someone mentioned having to text a plate, that's something my sister used yeah. to do. Now she can literally say, she can send a uh, message with a link to her ride um, to our group chat and I can, we can easily see if she's on the way. Mm. Um, not even just for safety, but even for like logistics. Mm -hmm. um, like if you're planning an event, a party, or if you have a interview or a meeting, you can see exactly how long someone is uh, from their destination. So yeah. if you know whether to start ahead or not. Uh, and actually back to the plate thing, one of the things I do um, remember, um, I have a friend who, who I follow on Twitter. Mm -hmm. One thing he used to do is when he'd have to take a taxi or a UV Express late at night, he'd actually tweet out the plate number. Tweet? Then, talaga, yeah, yeah, tweet talaga in public <laughs> yeah, talaga. Yeah, no, sure. parang, it's safe. Uh, yeah, exactly, right? So parang kung may mangyari man sa akin, dito ako nakasakay. So parang, mm. okay. So at least having that, um, having a record, having something to go back to is really exactly. useful. Paper trail, yeah. no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if anything goes wrong, you can report it. Mm. You know, if, if it was a bad experience with, with, with your driver, you can you could rate that. And if that driver receives enough complaints, he's out. Yeah. You, you know, that doesn't happen. You know, there's like, all of these taxi cabs have like, you got a complaint, call this. Who bothers to do that, right? Mm. It's, it's very, very difficult. This makes it easy for you to, yeah. to report. It makes mm -hmm. it easy for you to... This is the kind of system that makes commuting easy and safe. Mm. Um, it's a system that we need, especially here in this, in this country. You know, mm -hmm. we, we've all commuted at yep. some point. We, we've, yep. all, we've all taken, I don't know, I've, the Jeeps, MRT, and regular taxis, right? Mm -hmm. We've all had that, had that experience where the taxi turns you down, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many taxis have said, Nako, traffic dun. How many yep. taxis have said, Boss, dagdagan nyo na lang, bahala na kayo. Oh. Mean, oh, what, what are you gonna, yeah. how do you do that? And they keep the meter off. They keep the meter off yeah. and you're, you're, it's very awkward, very yeah. awkward situation. So, Uber really takes care of that. And I, I, can't, I can't imagine life before Uber because it, so many things. Um, I used to commute, mm. uh, Jeep, bus, all of that. Yeah. Isabel's done it. Mm -hmm. But, once I started driving, and once I got my own car, I was like, oh, enough of that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't commute as, as, a, as, you know, as a matter of choice. As, you know, if I can drive to, to the place, I will. I love mm -hmm. driving here. Don't ask why, but I love driving <laughs> here. Um, but with Uber, it allows me more options. Again, because I'm not always there for my children. Mm -hmm. I'm not always there for my business. Mm -hmm. But Uber is. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's the great thing. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. Okay, so that's uh, on convenience, and we, we touched on safety a lot as well. In fact, some of the tweets that I read earlier on, specifically from... Oh, sorry, let me add. You, oh, yeah, you, get, you get the driver's contact number. Yes. That's something that you don't yes. get with, your, regular. with the regular yeah. mm. uh, commuting options, right? Yeah, in fact, I called them right away to make sure. Kuya, uh, ano? Mm. On ba tayo? Game ba to? Diba? Just to make sure, right? So again, earlier on, we, we read tweets from, from Addy De La Cruz. Uh, Kirill and uh, RJ R. Uh, Aquino Jr. And uh, we also got these really funny tweets as well, right? Uh, of course, Filipino culture, yung mga memes, memes. natin, di ba? Uh, we have one here uh, with, the, with the Beyonce, right? From AJ, this is from AJ Tabangay, if I'm not mistaken. Hashtag before Uber, dapat todo bigay ka para lang makakuha ng taxi. I'm gonna see. Okay, <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce, right? Uh, what else we have here? Alis ka ng bahay na fresh, pero darating ka sa pupuntahan mo bilang mandirigma, di ba? So true. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. so these are the funny things. Uh, hashtag before Uber, I had to brave the traffic alone because I drove. Now, at least, kasama ka na si Kuya Driver, kaya di na ako nag-iisa. Chills. <laughs> Capital C-H-C. Chills? Get it? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so these are some of the funny tweets that we've been getting, of course. So what about for you guys? Have you uh, encountered similar uh, situations in public transportation? Um, you know, with regard to hailing taxis, uh, we've, we've received reports of um, the inconvenience, especially when it's raining. We only yes. have two seasons in the Philippines, okay? Tag-ulan, tag-init, tag-init, di ba? So pag tag-ulan, 
patay tayo guys. Well, we have to wait and we have to wait and uh, in the rain for for a taxi, and they might even refuse us. So what about you guys? I don't know if it's if it's just me or yung other girls experience this. Um, bagong ligo ka, de ba? Because mm. you have to parang papara para ka antagal. It will take like sometimes 15 minutes and dun ka yung beauty mo nandun lang, de ba? <laughs> and then your hair, sobrang tigas na after. And I always mm. get that. And dati kasi um, model ako, so VTR yung mga mm. ano ko. That's that's my work. So pagdating dun sobrang tigas na, na your hair, but may foundation ka na yung mga alikabok na sa face mo na so parang grabe hassle talaga. Parang mm. kung alam ko lang hindi na lang nandigo kasi parang ganito lang din yung itsura. Uh, and um, I just wanna share like yung sa safety side also. Uh, the may one time kasi I was in Makati and it was like mga 10 p.m. So and the driver kasi didn't expect na major traffic pa pala sa EDSA. He mm -hmm. was like, "Oy, ma'am, sa middle ng travel na namin, na, sabi, ma'am, dagdagan na lang po." Sabi ko, "Ha? Dagdagan?" Yeah. So parang ang hassle nandoon na kami, nasa gitna namin. At sabi ko, "Eh, kuya, yung pero 500 lang." I said, "Ma'am, basta 400 mo na lang." Eh parang yeah. Ha, I always naman ako, I always go home mga 200 pesos lang. So grabe talaga yung mm -hmm. sa ko kuya, hindi talaga. Eh, sige ma'am, baba ka na lang po. Sige ko, what? <laughs> baba ka na lang po. Oh, Teka-tara, dito tayo sa SM Mega Mall. So nandun na kami. Baba ka na lang po ma'am. Oh my gosh. What? So parang ako talaga, it was ngayon funny. Pero nung time niya, I was really scared. Mm -hmm. uh, parang aside from, I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. Nasa gitna ako ng EDSA na mall na close na, na parang wala ng tao alone mm -hmm. with my big bag na nandun yung costume. So, so parang, anong kagawin ko? So parang, di ba, mm. what a hassle and super, yeah. parang wala silang pakailam. Not not all of the yeah. taxi drivers or your jeep drivers or bus drivers, not all. Pero, I encountered that and mm -hmm. no way na babalik ako sa ganon. Mm. So Uber, one star. Mm. <laughs> hey. yeah. uh -oh, May penalty ka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rate, one. Uh -oh. You can do that. You, yeah. now, now you can, right? So, that's right. My point, may... "Quote unquote punishment," and uh, from from our side, right? And the worst part, pa, when when he when he left me, so parang pipicturean ko na sana yung plate number. Mm. Alam mo yung typical na plate number na faded na. Mm. Parang sa ko, ha? Mm. Paano nakalusot to? It's so faded. Parang faded na. You can't even trace. Yeah. A lot of mga public vehicles ganyan eh. Parang yeah. letters na one letter and then two numbers na parang ano to? Mm. <laughs> ba? That's right. Ah, so you want to hear it? It just it gets riled up, man. No, no, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. It's like, what are you guys thinking? You know, these people, mm. these people running our countries. What are you thinking? It's like, there is just no downside. Mm. There is no downside to to ride sharing services mm. like like Uber. I I can't think of any. And and you're thinking anyone who tries to stop this, anyone who tries to stop this has to have some ulterior motive. Mm. You know, that, that's just it. Mm. If you're trying to stop it, you're getting money somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I'm, I'm like, I always, whenever I hear that kind of thing, you know what, I'm just like, you know, can you just screen this? It's like, you know, I mean, do that, right? <laughs> Dude, what are you thinking? You're not thinking, of, you're not thinking of the Filipino people. No, you aren't. Mm. You're not thinking of the Filipino people. You're mm. like, F, you know, F you. You're not thinking mm -hmm. of the Filipino people. When you try to stop Uber, you try to stop Grab, yeah. You're you you're up to something, you son of a you know, you're doing something. Sorry, live. <laughs> but Can't you know what I'm talking about, stuff, you know? right? Come on. <laughs> Don't vote for these people. They're bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, okay, but, yeah. but really, I mean you know what I mean. If you're if you're anti Uber, something's wrong with you. Mm. You are, something's wrong with your brain. Mm. So to everyone on live stream right now, do you agree with Zach? Do you agree with Isabel? You do, right? Do you agree with they're... anybody here? Comment below, we'd love to hear what you guys think, okay? Uh, so we, we heard Isabel's funny story about the VTR and everything. Do you guys have any other, you know, funny anecdotes? Hashtag before Uber, what was life like before it? Mga uh, hassle na commutes. Um, did you, stuff like that, or, or even driving? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> so I rode a taxi before, Yeah. and the taxi driver was a, so creepy. Mm -hmm. He installed mirrors on the floor. Oh! And he would. Oh my gosh. He was um, telling me about it. He was proud of it. It's like, uh, pare, parang, pag may masakay dito, chicks. Seriously, and th this, you can imagine, disgusting. that is absolutely disgusting. They have two yeah, daughters, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, that's why my wife never goes anywhere mm. without me. 
-hmm. is because there are people like that. Yeah. Right? Um, you know, if, if anybody, an Uber driver tried to do that, mm -hmm. and you just reported him once, he's out of mm -hmm. a job. Right? Mm -hmm. But there are taxis like that, and it freaks. And you, we've heard all of these stories, right? We've heard all of these stories. Look, this, 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 this government is so bent on like, taking care, you know, getting rid of all these drug addicts who do these bad things, right? But you have all of these, these um, drivers, bus drivers, taxi drivers, you know, who give bad experiences. We got to get rid of that too, you know? You know, yeah. not, not, you don't kill them. But what I mean is, you know. Hopefully not. No. Don't kill anyone. <laughs> no, it's bad. Okay, but what I mean is you, we have a system. It's a great system. It's a working system. Sakai.ph works with them. And Sakai.ph, for example, you, if you're a commuter mm. and you need to go up somewhere and you don't know how to get there, it's the app to use. Mm. Okay, I want to get to Baclaran from here. Yeah. What do I ride? That, that's that's yeah. how it's going to work, right? Yeah. So we need systems like that. Why are we stopping it? What is wrong with these people? Yes. Hey, if, if you know these people, can you tag them so they can see it? <laughs> <laughs> whoever you are, you elected, whoever elected you. Mm. Well, you, you see Zach's sentiments again, okay? Now, we're going to ask the co-founder of Sakai.ph, okay? Uh, Philip, do you, uh, do you receive stories from, from commuters? Uh, well, okay. Um, maybe one of the things, well, I already shared the story about one of my friends actually tweets the place, mm. right? Um, but besides that, uh, so we strive to give directions on how to commute, right? Because um, we believe that you need to have different modes, right? Mm -hmm. You need to sort of spread the load out of different things. And one of the challenges, um, one of the reasons we made Sakai.ph is it's so hard to get around um, via public transit if you're not familiar with the system, right? The way people get directions is they ask their friends or, or they ask mm. people on the street, um, pa punta rito, diba? And then they say, ah, pwede ka magsakay rito, tas baba ka rito. So uh -huh. one of the things that we wanted to do was to sort of um, digitize that at least or to centralize mm -hmm. that so you don't have to you, you'll go out and you don't even know where you're going yet. Um, one of the challenges has been, even though we try to organize this, uh, we get a lot of reports, people go to a certain place where they expect the Jeep to be, mm -hmm. and it's not there. Oh. And that's because um, like, we, we don't really have timetables or actual stops, right? Um, mm -hmm. I think we're uh, unique and perhaps not in a great way in that our public transit is one where we have routes where you don't have definite stops. Um, specific for like jeepney. So one of the things I think that Uber has been super helpful with is um, at least it's predictable, right? Um, sometimes you can't also get an Uber and that's, that's fine. At least you know before you head out. Mm. Um, with public transit, you have lots of people going out, um, finding out that, uh, you know, there will I jeep, will I bus, etc. Mm. And they only know when they're already there. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that that uh, that we've that I've heard of is people using our app and we give time estimates and all of that for, for buses and all that. And we we do our best to estimate these, but sometimes traffic is super bad. Um, so I, I know one person who, it took him like uh, three hours to get from um, like well he, he was coming from QC going to Makati, so it was really far, but Still, three hours is still, still far. Yeah. Well, well, QC to Makati is like, you know, <laughs> it's well, like what, 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers? That's not, that's not three hours, right? Yeah. 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 But, but you know, these things happen. And at least with Uber, a lot of this information is shown to you up front, right? Mm. Um, even higher fares are shown up to you up front. It's right? true. So it's more predictable. It's and I think that's been one of the really helpful things about mm. um, transport network apps like Uber. Mm. Okay, thank you so much, Philip. All right, so you've been hearing a lot uh, from us very frustrated, hashtag before Ubers, right? Uh, and now it, it's, and of course, we, we've tackled convenience and, and safety and everything. And you've been hearing the, the rider's perspective. So now let's, let's talk to the driver, right? Let, let's see, let's see what, what life is like before Uber, what life is like now. Kuya Edgardo, how are you? Okay lang, sir. Uh, <laughs> at your service, sir. At your service. <laughs> Palagi. So, Kuya Edgardo, matanong ko lang po sa inyo, no? Uh, Bakit niyo po inisip na mag-Uber? Palisin nung ano eh, uh, meron po ako negosyo na nagpiprint ako ng t-shirt. Mm. So sa area, sa bahay, sa lugar po namin, ako pa lang yung una eh. Hanggang sa dumami na, hindi ko naman, sir, makuha yung pantuition ng anak ko. Mm. So sabi ko, kailangan ko maghanap ng, pan, ng pandagdag trabaho. So nag-apply po ako personal driver. So nagtatataka ko, tas personal driver pa ako. Mm -hmm. Eh kaya lang yung medyo... Matumal na talaga po. Taisip ko na hindi naman, ah, parang mahirap yung personal driver kasi yung oras mo, nandun sa boss mo eh. Mm. 
So, may nagkukwento yung Uber nga raw po na ganun. So, sa naisip ko, sabi ko, total ang skill ko, driving eh. Hmm. Ba't hindi kaya, ano, hmm. strike ko? Nag-isip, pero ang pinaka-problema ko po na auto eh. Sa nakukuha ng auto. Apo. Hanggang sa kinausap ko yung sister ko na, hmm. sige, sabi niya, pumayag siya. Ayun, uh, nakapag-over na ako, binitaw. Yung, yung printing ko, nandyan lang naman eh. Hmm. So, pag may order lang, sige, pero pag wala, eh, over, okay na. Hanggang okay. ngayon, may printing pa rin ba? Andiyan lang sila yung mga gamit, pero hindi na ako ano, eh, naggumagawa. Eh. Kasi na medyo doon ako sa, sa kalye. Mas masarap ng serbisyo. Eh. Mm. Mas Pag masarap sa kalye. Pag may mga printing increase kayo, ha? <laughs> <laughs> si Kuya Edgardo. To add to that, uh, our store manager before, uh-huh. uh, at the Bunny Baker, which uh, our store manager, after, she, 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 after she'd saved up, she resigned, and now she's uh, managing an Uber. Mm. So you know this 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 is actually good livelihood for people. Yeah, you know it's it gives jobs to people. Yeah, it's again no downside mm-hmm. really. At na enjoy pani kuya Edgar, de ba? Aircon, masarap yung ano yung aircon sa Uber niyo. Masarap masarap dun sir, malalaman mo yung pasahero mo na nakauwi ng safe. Nah. Na uwi na sila. Okay, uwi. Ako naman ang ako yung huling huling uwi eh. At Opo. least nandoon sila eh. Naka galing, safe galing. na sila doon eh. Sabi ko, nakatulog na kayo, ma'am. Tulog ka na, uwi na ako. Saya. So, okay, brief ba? Ni kuya ano. <laughs> yung sasabihin oh. sir ng riders ay ng riders sa iyo. Kuya, ingat ka ha. Gagano. Yes, Opo. ma'am. Thank you po. Di parang hindi lang yung babay sige, umalis ka na. Hindi ganoon eh. Marami yung sir eh. Parang naisip ko yung pagmamahal namin sa kanila. Alam din namin na mahal nila kami. Uh, may candy pa. Yun yung sinasabi oh, yes, sa may candy. <laughs> may candy. Yun yung sinasabi sa akin ng mga anak ko eh. Kung yung mag si may candy, <laughs> bibigay sila ng candy. Sabi ko parang ayoko na ato mag, mag- bawal kayo. Kaya ngayon wala na po akong mabili ng ano. Ng... Kasi pagsakay ng babae siya, sabi niya, Kuya, may tissue. Eh, bakit ako nag-over eh? Sabi ko, single parent ako eh. Kailangan ko supportahan yun. Eh, medyo may problema. On the rocks ata yung pagsasama nila. Mm. Sabi niya, paano kayo nag-iwali ng asawa mo? Sabi. Pag hindi na kayo masaya, mag-iwali na kayo. Mm. Kung baga, ganun na lang. Kung baga, eh, magsasama pa kayo hindi mo masaya. Sabi ko, hindi ko kaya mo na buhay. Ano kung hindi buhay mo? Mm. So yun, tas parang ganyan, na-relate sa kanya. Nakaba ang daming tanong. Sige, kung sa naubos yung traffic, lumagpas kami sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Ayun. Tapos meron pa sa rider, gabi na. Mm. Alam naman yung mga rider eh. Oh, uh, between 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. Uh-huh. Pagka pick up ko sa kanya, may dala siyang ano eh, kape ng, ng ano. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, okay yaw, kape. Alam ko na, malayo biyahe ko. Kasi may kape. Alam mm-hmm. ko na, malayo biyahe ko, marikina. Ay, mm-hmm. Okay, sige po. Tapos kuya, tutulog lang ako. Ah. Sige ma'am, gigisin kita. Kakatokin ko yung bahay niyo ma'am para ano. Wow. Tulog siya, sir. <laughs> Okay. Tapos yun, yung kape niya, iniinom ko kasi medyo malayo. Alam niya, that time, 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., pagod na pagod na kami eh. Dahil Opo. sa umaga pa lang, sir, bakbakan na kami sa traffic eh. Mm, so alam niyo, mga that time, talagang kulang na yan, patungan, no? tukuran mo ng palito yung mata mo para hindi bumagsak. Mm-hmm. So yun, uh, safety rin namin. Yun, sama lang sa amin yung ngayon na ano eh. Sabi nila, mas safe daw ang jeep, taxi. Sabi ko, nang safe doon, eh kami nga door to door. Kahit na napakalit ng kali, pagkakasya namin yung kotse para lang na ma-pick up namin yung ano. It's safer for uh, Uber drivers as well. Um, we always say that, you know, the riders, they yes. have to be. But, you know, um, being an Uber driver, you have a you have peace of mind because you know who's riding. Mm-hmm. You know, the, as opposed to like, if you're a taxi driver, tapos may sasakay, it's ma-hold up ka. Yeah. Hindi mo alam, walang mangyayari. Pero pag Uber driver, kilala mo kung sinong sasakay. Yeah. Makakapili ka eh. So, I mean... Mm. So, alam mo kung alam mo yung pangalan o whatever. Pag in-hold up ka, one star mo. Joke lang. I mean, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You're not, an, an, an Uber rider is not going to mug you. you yeah. Know? I think, you know, I hope, right? Mm. Okay. So, of course, there, there is that accountability there, not just on the driver's side, but also on the rider side, right? Um, but let's get back to Kuya Edgardo here. So, Kuya, tungkol naman sa, pa, sa pamilya niyo po. Yes, sir. Paano po nakatulong ang Uber sa pamilya niyo? Yun nga, sir. Uh, kasi dalawa lang kami magkami. Mm-hmm. Nung time na yun, sir, nung bago ako makakas ng Uber, graduating siya ng, ano, ng grade 6. Mm-hmm. So, sabi ko, graduate niya ako, anong pag-gas? Kasi dati nung pag tuition ma'am niya, sir, quarterly, ano eh. Iniisip ko na kagad eh. Mm-hmm. Saan ako manghihiram eh. Mm-hmm. So, ito na nga, sabi ko, yun, talaga sabi ko, kailangan ko ng ano, kailangan ko na talaga kumilos. Hmm. Kailangan ko na maghanap ng ibang paraan para ma- makuha ko yung sa ano. So, sabi ko pa sa anak ko, anak, sabi ko, sana naman, ano, pag umraduate ka, pakitin mo ako sa stage. No. Uh, sabi, <laughs> ngayon, nag-over na ako, sir. Di-drive na ako. Opo. Eh, sabi niya, dad, graduation na namin. Pagod na pagod na ako, eh. Sabi ko ganoon. Parang hmm. hindi ako makakating kasi pagod na ako dahil maghapon akong ano, eh. Hmm. Pinilit ko umaten. Sir, tatlong beses niya akong pinakit sa stage. 
Sabi ko, ba't mo pinakit? Nakakapagod ang makyat dyan. Sabi ko, kada sir, suit na medal, suit na medal. Kaya, Opa. proud din ako nang sabi ko ngayon. Uh, yeah. Andiyan ang over, yung anak ko agad pa rin ang binigay. Oh. Congrats po! Ang laki ng pinagbago sir sa akin. Sabi Congratulations. Kaya, Congratulations. Yung masama lang, sinasabi nila, hindi safe, safe. Mm-hmm. Halos kami nga sir, ano eh. Ayaw namin mayug-yug yung pasahero namin eh. Ubak-ubak ko, talagang dahan-dahan kami. Mm-hmm. Although kahit kotse namin yun, pag nauga, oh sorry. Tapos sabi nila, hindi safe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sige, uh, last question daw. Uh, here we go. So, maraming salamat po sa pag-share nyo at congratulations yes, ulit, diba? Sa mga graduation ng mga anak nyo at naka-akit <laughs> ka din ng, ng stage, no? Um, so, as, as we wrap up today, to everybody else as well, you can comment. Can you imagine life without Uber? Very simple question. Now, after, after hearing all the stories and now that we're very much in the know, can you now imagine life without Uber. Uh, let's start with Philip. Um, it would be really difficult. Um, mm. not just because of the mm. not just because of the convenience, the safety, the predictability and all of the things I think that we've been talking about, but um, I think they were a pioneer of the whole ride sharing thing, the whole mm-hmm. model that 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 um, that they made about people ha- being able to drive and being able to book and all of that. Um, in many ways, even public transit and other modes are taking a cue like um, Buses are now mandated to have GPS, and in fact, even in our app, Shameless Plug, we're going to start predicting like when buses are going to arrive at stops and all of that, wow, which is pretty cool. But that's so cool. Um, getting back to Uber, I think they paved the way for these other innovations and these other modes um, mm. for them to pattern that after. Right? They were the first to actually even not require a special GPS device, but anyone with a phone, mm-hmm. with a regular phone, you just install an app. Yeah. Now you can be a driver. Anyone with a phone, you just install a regular app, you can book um, a ride from anywhere. And mm-hmm. I think that's one of the very transformative things that their model, um, having an app and enabling this new sort of service, mm-hmm. um, has provided. And so it would be really difficult to have that sort of life without Uber. Thanks, Philip. Zach? I can imagine life without Uber. Mm-hmm. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you'd rather not have a life no i'd rather i mean i I, i've really spoken my thought my 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 mind on on how uber is so thank you for that you're very you've you've really uh, contributed it's really helped i mean it's really oh one thing guys at uber you gotta put multiple stops okay in your app that's one of the things that i I have i have to say it because Sometimes I um I have my my son brought to school okay. with his yaya and uh-huh. then I have the yaya have to come back and there is no option for that mm. there is no option for round trips so Uber you gotta get cracking on that multiple stops okay mm. and what I have to do is I have to tell the, the drivers like okay when you get to the destination don't end trip I'm going to change it back to my home address or wherever okay. like multiple stop multiple stops Uber feature request <laughs> so there it's a little request there from from Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel. I mean, um, I can't imagine my life without Uber. Nah. Um, if it does, mm. it requires a lot of alam mo yun, adjustment, siguro, but mm-hmm. I hope it won't. Because mm-hmm. like, my mom really uses, uses Uber na talaga, more than me. I booked for her. Um, I, I rarely see her, so parang I miss her, you mm-hmm. know. So she often visit me ng- ngayon kasi there's Uber na. But before, she was hesitant pa on taking Uber kasi you can't blame her, the news, di ba? Yung mga taxi drivers or, or any, or jeepney, there's parang hold up or whatever. Kaya akala niya Uber is parang ganyan din. Mm. She was hesitant at first and then um, uh, gradually na-notice ko na she doesn't need the, the yaya or anyone to tag along. Siya na. So I think I owe that to Uber because she felt safe. Na mm. whenever she rides Uber, so mm. I'm pretty sure if there's no Uber, mal lesson na talaga yon, and it mm. won't be that really convenient and happy, alam mo yon. Mm. And especially for me, um, as an artist and as, as an actress, I cannot just go there and just ride public mga ano de ba. Um, so there, uh, life without Uber will be very, very devastating. Thank you, Isabel. Kuya Edgardo, uh, pag walang Uber, ano yung buhay mo? Well, uh, hindi, lang sa, hindi lang para sa akin, no? para rin sa lahat ng mga driver ng Uber. Mm-hmm. Siguro pag nawalang Uber, miserable eh. Ang dami eh. Miserable. Uh, ang dami namin. Operator, driver. Mm-hmm. Mamumroblema talaga. 
Mm. Um, um, para lang kami binigyan ng ito, bato, ipokpok nyo sa ulo nyo. Parang ganun eh. So, ano eh, uh, may rap. Mm. I want to add to that. I mean, drivers, uh, the people are complaining. We hear our taxi drivers, regular ta taxi drivers. Yeah. We hear that complaint, right? Mm -hmm. um, but but we wouldn't be so pro Uber if we didn't have the the bad experiences that True. we have, yeah. right? And all we ask for is that you just have that kind of accountability, and you know we're all good. You know, if you're a taxi driver, okay lang. But you know, may parang sistema ng Uber, may may feedback, mm -hmm. may, you know, all of these things make it easier and safer. At mm -hmm. hindi ka mag refuse. Eh, kung, yeah. eh, kasi ang mga Uber driver, hindi ka pwedeng dagdagan, hindi ka pwedeng, mm -hmm. uh, di ba, yung all of the problems that you have with regular taxis. So, I mean, these taxis, they're complaining. They're, they're drivers. Just like, we go back to that. Sir, a tip namin, ratings na lang. Oh, I mean. I don't need your tip, ratings na lang. On, there are incentives for, for Uber drivers, right? Incentives, mm -hmm. like whether they get, uh, I don't know the scheme, but yeah. there, is, there are certain incentives for that. Mm -hmm. So, if you're a taxi driver and you're complaining, well, just go Uber. Yeah. You know? Ah, okay. Thank you very much, Zach. Um, I guess for me, if, I, if, if Uber weren't around, I'd probably be an activist. Uh, <laughs> because back, back when Uber wasn't around and I was taking cabs all the time, I was rejected so many times. And it's so frustrating. And I, like you, I try to take pictures of, of the plate numbers and everything. And, uh, and I was always constantly trying to find a service that would, that would uh, rally all of these complaints and everything. I wanted to find a place where I could complain about a taxi driver so he could be penalized, etc. Right? And again, Uber solves this problem because there's accountability. We know who the driver is. Yung nga, yung cell phone number nandyan. You can text him. Yung buong pangalan pa nga nandyan, di ba? May picture pa. Um, and so that's, it's, it's just great. So if, if Uber weren't around, ah, I'd probably be an activist and I'd try to rally all these bad cab drivers again, no? Um, I also posted on Facebook last night and I asked, and this is what people said. Before Uber, my life was, number one, full of rejections. Next, <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears during my daily commute. Next, much, uh, much less convenient. Next, full of worry of being late. Next, unsettled, having to worry about more factors like aggressive driving, the meter, and vehicle instead of being able to focus on my meeting prep and the things that I have to do that day. Uh, Jazz Reyes says, Corny, LTFRB. Um, and another friend of mine said this. Um, he said, I just want to tell you na sana people would move forward uh, instead of backwards. Uber is a sign of innovative way of transportation. Why take it out? So I think the people have spoken, but there are more people who have yet to speak. So if you guys want to share your thoughts, you can share it on Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is, Facebook, use the hashtag before Uber. Uh, we'd love to know, and uh, come July 26, things may be very different. Let us know what you think about that. Is there something we can do about that? Um, share your ideas down below, and perhaps we could all figure out really the best solution for all of us, and maybe send an email to someone or something like that, right? To all of our guests, thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much. I thank believe, you for having us. I believe you've had a very fruitful uh, discussion. Follow these guys online as well for, for the updates on their businesses, etc. My name is Justin Carino. It's at Justin Carino and everything. You guys have an amazing day, Match Manila. Thank you, Rappler, and uh, bye, everyone. Bago mag, ano, uh, mag over, ano ako eh, personal driver. Hindi mo hawak oras mo eh. Di sa single parent, wala ka ng time para sa anak mo eh. Yung tiniis ko talaga eh, kailangan mong tisin dahil Nandiyo yung anak ko, kailangan ko siyang buhayin, kailangan niyang mag-aral. Pagmamaneho na lang talaga ang alam ko eh. Yun na lang ang siguro ang ano ko eh, ang talent ko na hindi mawawala sa akin eh. Yung over, naririnig ko na yan eh. Uh, inisip ko talaga kung paano ako makadiskate ng sarili kong kotse eh. Nag-start ako December kasi yun yung time na critical na sa akin eh. Na hindi ko na alam kung saan ako hahanap ng, ano, ng panggasos ko kasi graduating anak ko eh. Nung simula nag-over ako, hawak ko na oras ko. Doon ko naranasan na masarap maging over driver. So inuuna ko muna yung ko. Nahahatid ko na siya, nasusundo ko pa siya. Ngayon gumanda na rin yung buhay namin. Kahit na mag-isa lang ako, nagpalaki sa kanya. I'm a mother of two. Kay Nicolo kasi ang gusto kong matutunan niya talaga, discipline. 
I got a call from the nurse sa school na tamaan ng ID ng classmate, yung mata ni Nico, and they had to rush him to the ER. Kinuha ko na yung phone ko, nagbuka ko kagad ng Uber. Alas 12 ng tanghali, sobrang traffic pa din. So nag-breakdown talaga ako dun sa likod. So sinabi nung driver sa akin, Ma'am, tatay din ako, naiintindihan ko kung anong pinagdadaanan nyo ngayon. Hanap tayo ng fastest route papuntang ER. So at that time, yun yung exactly kailangan ko. At that exact moment, naramdaman ko kung ano yung genuine na pag, pagmamalasakit sa akin ng driver. And sobrang na-appreciate ko yun. Magmula nung nagkaroon ng Uber, sobrang nakatulong sa akin. And I am sure na um, makaka-uwi ako kagad, makaka-uwi ako kagad sa anak ko. Which is very important to me. Honestly, hindi ako perfect mom. Wala naman yata ang perfect mommy. Pero ang gusto ko lang malaman ng mga anak ko na pagkailangan nila ako, nandun ako.